Okay, so I'm still considering the same system, right? And I would really like to be able to solve this kind of system of equations, right? So one way I could solve this system of equations is I could think to myself, well, how do you actually do this, right? So if I multiply in the kind of way that I usually think about, right? I'm going to pick this up, I'm going to twist it sideways, I'm going to drop it on, right? That's going to get me from this matrix equation back to the system of equations. You guys see that? Okay. So if I consider that system of equations, right now I'm using the kind of row multiplication picture. With me on that? So the row multiplication picture gives me exactly the same set of equations that I had before. I'm going to rearrange them a little bit. So x minus 2y is 1 and 3x plus 2y is 11. One way I could solve this, right, is I could plot these two lines and see where they intersect. You guys with me on that? Okay. So here I have very carefully done that. I'm lying. Right, plot appropriately. These are not appropriate plots. This might be my equation. x minus 2y is 1. This might be my equation. 3x plus 2y is 11. This meeting point happens to be at 3, 1. You guys get that? You guys plot it? Uh, how did you get? Well, I I looked at like this the what's gonna be scaled by, and I was like, okay, so I need to know x, y, and I did that in my head, and then I was like, okay, so one of one of the columns is being scaled by three, and then and then I graph it in my head. like each uh, each row. I mean, I think I used the wrong word, not column, but like how each row is yeah. being scaled by. So I think what you probably what you're describing where you're thinking about scaling, right? Yeah. Is kind of the other picture, which is totally fine, right? So if I'm thinking about the kind of column picture. Oh, yeah, yeah, Is yeah. that what you're using? Yeah. Okay, I'm good. Because that's what I want to talk about anyway. So you can use the row picture, right? That amounts to plot the lines, see where they intersect. The column picture is kind of this new trick, which is... You can take the vector 1, 3, multiply by x, add to that the vector negative 2, 2, multiplied by y. I'm supposed to end up with 1, 11 here. And you can kind of guess and check your way to 3, 1. Yeah. You guys see that? We're going to have a bunch of kind of techniques to play with this. Right, so you've got this one, graph it, check where the intersection is. That's a technique that's perfectly valid. You've got this one, write down the kind of column picture, maybe guess and check an answer, or reason your way to an answer. On this one, you're kind of left to guess and check. The column picture is really easy to solve if you happen to have a zero in one or the other coordinate. Mm -hmm. You can see that? Okay. So... These are two options. What else have we talked about? What are your other options here? Make an augmented matrix. Good. You could make an augmented matrix and solve that way. Elimination. You could eliminate, yeah. Or substitute. Or substitute. So you've got a couple algebraic techniques, a graphical technique, a guess and check technique. An augmented matrix gives you another thing, which is like a linear algebra technique, and you have one more so far. Rosie, Rosie technique. She's dreaming. She's taking a sleep. Well, are you are you saying like geometrically, like? Um, so I'm at linear algebraically, linear linearly algebraically. I don't know. Okay, so just math, no graphs. Yeah. So in this class so far, you have one more option. Uh, you could just well, you could use the inverse to solve. 
Yeah, if it has an inverse, you can use the inverse. Yeah. This one does, in fact, have an inverse. Yeah. You guys see why? Why can you tell me right off the bat that that thing has an inverse? Because it's non-singular. Thank you, Archie, <laughs> for using the word that means has an inverse. <laughs> um, because it doesn't get the, the zero vector? The, the determinant is not zero. Okay, shut up about that. We're going to stop yeah. using determinants, Sid. Which, me, if the, which means that that's, that's non-singular. <laughs> which means that, that they're not a scalar yeah. multiple of each other. The columns? The columns are linearly independent. How do you know that? They're not a scalar multiple of each other. Yeah, they're not scalar multiples of each other. One way you could really quickly notice that is the vector 1, 3. If I'm going to scale or multiply that by something, both terms are going to be positive or negative, right? Mm -hmm. This one has mixed signs. Ergo, these can't be scalar multiples of each other. Okay, see that? Another way you can check that is you could be like, okay, look. To get from here to there, I've got to multiply by negative 2. That's not what happened to the other coordinate. Done. Not good. Is cool that? So, to summarize, you have a lot of techniques. Don't be afraid to use them. Cool? Um, on the column multiplication picture, I want to draw just one little trick of what's going on there. So I have my vector 111 way the heck up here, right? So the claim is that if I do three of these guys plus one of those guys, I should get to the vector 111. You guys see that? Mm -hmm. This is a way you can actually kind of guide your guess and checking. Right? You can draw the two vectors. I'm going to draw them in the domain where they belong, right? So my two vectors are 1, 3. So that's 1, oh another blue marker that doesn't work. I made one today. All right, one, two, three. So here's my vector one, three. All right, that's my column. Oh, I guess I'm drawing these in the domain, which doesn't really make any sense. Yeah, can you be yeah. Drawing it in the codomain? Yeah, let me draw them in the codomain where it makes more sense. So one, three. is this vector here. You see that? And that's kind of pointed generally in the right direction. So I'm going to think to myself, well, hell, we're going to continue on that for a little ways, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to do that three times. You see that? Now, I feel like I'm getting pretty close to the right height, but I've gone too far to the right. So let's go back. So we need to go kind of back and left. Luckily, I have this vector that points back and left available to me. You guys see that? And we can drop that thing in once. And notice that we actually got to the right spot. No way. See that? So that's kind of how the column multiplication picture works. With me? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Let's call.